this video, you're going to take a look at ways to include images, icons, and decorators. How to use text field widgets to retrieve, validate, and manipulate data. How to check for your app's orientation. Images can make an app look tremendous or ugly depending on the quality of the artwork. Images, icons, and other resources are commonly embedded in an app. The Asset Bundle class provides access to custom resources such as images, fonts, audio, data files, and more. Before a Flutter app can use a resource, you must declare it in the PubSpec YAML file. Instead of declaring each asset, which can get very long, you can declare all the assets in each directory. Make sure you end the directory name with a forward slash. The Image widget displays an image from a local or a URL source. To load an image widget, there are a few different constructors to use. The image, which retrieves an image from an image provider class. Image asset, retrieves an image from an asset bundle class using a key. Image file, retrieves an image from a file class. Image memory, retrieves image from a uint8 list class. Image network, retrieves the image from a URL path. If you add color to the image, it colorizes the image portion and leaves any transparencies alone, giving you a silhouette look. The icon widget is drawn with a glyph from a font described in icon data. Flutter's icon dart file has the full list of icons available from the font material icons. Decorators help to convey a message depending on the user's interaction or customize the look and feel of a widget. There are different types of decorators for each task. Decoration, the base class to define other decorations. Box decoration, provides many ways to draw a box with a border, body, and box shadow. Input decoration, used in text field and text form field to customize the border, label, icon, and styles. This is a great way to give the user feedback on data entry, specifying a hint, an error, an alert icon, and more. There are different ways to use text field widgets to retrieve, validate, and manipulate data. The form widget is optional, but the benefits of using a form widget are to validate each text field as a group. You can group text form field widgets to manually or automatically validate them. The text form field widget wraps a text field widget to provide validation when enclosed in a form widget. If all text fields pass the form state validate method, then it returns true. If any text fields contain errors, it displays the appropriate error message for each of the text field, and the form state validate method returns false. This process gives you the ability to use form state to check for any validation errors instead of checking each text field for errors and not allowing the posting of invalid data. Under certain scenarios, knowing the device orientation helps in laying out the appropriate UI. There are two ways to figure out orientation, media query of context orientation and orientation builder. Now a note on the orientation builder. It returns the amount of space available to the parent to figure out orientation. This means it doesn't guarantee the actual device orientation. I personally prefer using media query to obtain the actual device orientation because of its accuracy.